Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a very cloudy skies across the Mid-South area and seeing again some light scattered showers, but really not much more than that at this time. Now into this weekend, we may see some more problems in the form of more thunderstorms, and we are keeping a very close eye on what's going on back into the early to middle part of next week. Could be the potential of some stronger weather heading our way. Doesn't look like severe weather at this time, but there may be that potential of some possible heavy rainfall coming back our direction as we get into and around the area of about late Wednesday through about Thursday and unfortunately right on in through about Good Friday. Could be some more rainfall potential out there. The good news, if you're celebrating the holiday, it looks like Easter Sunday is looking very nice. Lots of sunshine out there and looking good for any Easter sunrise services, especially the outdoor ones coming up. So looking pretty good there, but again, pretty quiet overall. We'll talk, take a look at that in just a little bit. Make sure you put your location into the comment section. We'd love to know where you're from and what the weather's doing where you're at. So give us an idea as to what's going on at your location. You got that thermometer on the kitchen window. Give us a temperature report. If you have that rain gauge outside the backyard area on the porch or wherever, let us know how much rainfall, if anything, you got overnight. So thanks again to everybody for those weather reports out there, and we'll feature them in the rest of our netcast here in just a little bit. Can't stick around for the whole forecast. That's okay. You can check the blue bar at the bottom of your screen or head to this website, again, wreg.com slash weather, where you can get the 7 to 10 day forecast all the way through Easter Sunday and an idea as to what may be heading our direction in the near future. As of right now, again, it's a special day. Where science is concerned, March 23rd is World Meteorological Day. It's a good day to learn about climate and science of weather, things of that nature. And you can do so with the weather section of the United Nations, the World Meteorological Organization. We feature this a lot on some of our netcasts because they give us some of the information that we use for our Weather Where the Troops Are segment. We'll talk about where you can see that coming up here in just a little bit. But if you'd like to know more, public.wmo.int, a really cool website, especially for students to get more information about weather and climate all the way around the world. So a great website to go to on that. Rest of the day today, again, if you've got any plans for outdoors, it doesn't really look again like we're going to be seeing too much sunshine. Going to be mostly on the light side of the rainfall out there. Let's see who we've got here. Regina Martin, Lexington, 46. Thank you very much. 61 and sunny from Savannah, Tennessee. Brooke White Gray, thank you very much. Cloudy in Ripley, Tennessee. Karen Weaver Ennis, thank you for 50 degrees right there. Linda Tacker, what is the weather supposed to be tomorrow from Olive Branch? We'll take a look at the whole Mid-South forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Scott Hill, Tennessee, 51. Thank you very much. And Randy Adams from Collierville. A little light rain overnight, 50s and overcast skies. Thank you very much uh, for that report. Again, through the rest of the day, very mild. Those southerly winds are going to have a big impact on our temperatures today. So we should be winding up just above 70 degrees and very calm conditions out there for the most part. At least somebody's getting some some sunshine out there. Mount Washington in New Hampshire, fourth nor'easter in as many weeks, and as of right now, finally starting to clear out from the observation deck up on top of Mount Washington, home to some of the worst weather in the United States. With one of those last storm systems, some of the winds topped over 200 miles per hour up here at the weather observation station, so very much on the breezy side up that direction. Here in the Mid-South, not that much going on except for the cloud cover. Overcast reported at Memphis International Airport, but the delays this morning, minimal, not seeing much of any problems out there for travelers. Likewise, across the continental U.S., we don't have much of anything going on at this time where it comes to anything involving showers and thunderstorms or winter weather either. So again, no major problems into and around the Mid-South where it comes to anything across much of the area. Uh, let's see, James Cox, something real... WREG instead of frenzied social media junk from across the country. I hope that's a compliment, but I haven't had too much coffee this morning. So I'll try to take Yes, on, on that one. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Kind of interesting to see the cloud streets up there, uh, that direction. Maybe some gravity wave activity going on as you see some of that sort of corduroy looking clouds out across the area. The view from around central Memphis for this morning, and the view from our tower cam around downtown Memphis. If you're heading down. 
now open again as the river level has dropped enough to make certain it's safe passage if you're doing the bike or trail walking that area. But Big River Crossing and the authorities are recommending caution as you head to that side of the bridge on Big River Crossing because unfortunately there could be some debris and all kinds of other stuff covering the actual walkways out there. So please keep that in mind. We'll be heading that direction at this point in time. Rest of the day, again, not showing much of anything in the like everything's working pretty well here as far as I can tell. Let me see if I can tweak this for just a little bit. Well, that's about as good as it gets for right now. Thank you very much out there. Bert Bishop, welcome from Bolivar this morning. Thank you very much for joining us at this point in time. Uh, William Boykin, thanks a lot. Glad you're enjoying the forecast. And good morning to Federico Rosales. Thanks for joining us as well. What's left of those showers heading out of the picture this morning, dropping into northwestern Alabama? Not that much left of it at this point in time. So again, we're not seeing a lot of repeat showers yet. But we could get some more activity in here as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. Decently cool temperatures in the Mid-South back into the mid to upper 40s. We were in the lower 40s from earlier this morning. Let me see here for Testing one, two. Okay, sorry about that with the audio problems there. We'll do our best to get that taken care of in just a little bit. Morning, sir. How you yes, doing? Sir. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think we've got a cable connection problem, which is a little bit on the weak side, maybe. Maybe just needs to be recycled at this point, so not sure. Hmm. Sorry. Mr. Michael Gates just off screen right here. Oh, I'm sorry. No? Hey, how, are you, how you doing? doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, keeping an eye on things. Hopefully everybody can hear at least looks like the audio levels are doing relatively okay at this point, so I don't know, maybe some duct tape or something. Yeah. So, okay. Or or the hammer. Yeah, okay, we can we can do that too. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we'll, 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 we'll fix it. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. All right. Sorry about that, folks, but uh, unfortunately, this is live netcasting stuff happens. So just like live TV, imagine that. Now, into the rest of the day, lunchtime temperatures with those southerly winds back in the upper 50s to around the lower 60s and showing again the possibility of some of these showers, the heaviest activity up here north of the Mid-South area, so north of Dyersburg, the Boot Hill, southeast Missouri for the most part, but there will be the chance of scattered showers happening just about any place into around the area for right now. Uh, Randy Adams put it in the recycling bin. I wish, you know, it's this thing has served me so well over the last few years. I really hate to get rid of it, but unfortunately, and so I guess this things just, after you carry them around so much with you, just ready for interviews at any point in time, there anything gets wear and tear out there for right now. Stacy Morris, good morning to you. Uh, thank you everybody else for sticking with us through the audio problems for this morning. Hope I don't sound like I'm talking through a tin can right now. Uh, for right now, fishing at Real Foot Lake. How's the weather up there? Tony Gocher, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, not bad for right now. It looks like the area right up around Real Foot Lake is going to see again the best chance of showers for later on today and pretty much throughout the rest of the weekend. So I don't know what your ideal fishing weather is. I know some fishermen and fisherwomen who like to fish when it's nice and dry and sunny and some people who prefer the rainfall. So if this is your ideal weather, I think you've got no major problems being seen at this point when it comes to uh, doing any forecasting from up around that particular location. Now, into the rest of the weekend, we're going to be seeing Tammy Pettigrew. Uh, welcome to the show and good morning to you. Through this evening, the chances of rain are going to be dropping south into the rest of the area. Heaviest rainfall from around Nashville back through Paducah up through about St. Louis. And that'll continue right on in through the early morning hours. But then by tomorrow morning daybreak, we're going to be getting more showers into and around the area heading on through. I don't think it's going to be a weekend washout. I do think there is going to be chances of showers and thunderstorms out there through the weekend and into very early on Palm Sunday. But again, the chances of rain will be out there, as will the possibility of thunderstorms. So if you have outdoor activities, that's great. But just please remember, if you can hear thunder or see lightning, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm. Lightning can strike 20 to 30 miles away from its parent thunderstorm. So you could be standing 
in Collierville and have a thunderstorm over downtown Memphis and still get struck by that thunderstorm. So again, this is a time of the year where we have to be very careful when it involves stuff like this uh, at this point in time. So again, we can see the possibility uh, into and around the area. So we see again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms uh, into and around the area for the rest of the weekend right there. James Cox enjoys seeing what's going on back home, not the social media that usually post on the page, leave that junk alone. Okay, well, thank you very much, I think, on that. Uh, doing our best to help out when it comes to the weather forecast, but if there's anything else I can do, I'll add that to the list. As of right now, the chance of anything involving severe weather back to around mild stomping grounds close to Topeka, Kansas, into southern Nebraska, and right up to the north of I-70, a marginal threat here. Could be the possibility of thunderstorms north of us, but that possibility of thunderstorms moves into the Mid-South as we get into tomorrow. Not severe weather. This is not the severe scale right here. This is just the possibility of generic thunderstorms. And then into Sunday, more of a threat shapes up out west of us, and we still see those possibility of thunderstorms, but it looks like it's going to be late Sunday evening into around very early on Monday. That's where we see that potential of more thunderstorms coming on through, and that's going to be about it for there. Now, chances of showers across the area... Yes, but again, for right now, I don't really see that much in the way of showers and thunderstorms taking place. Possible, but not a widespread huge chance. Tomorrow, we increase the possibility by just a little bit, and mostly it's going to be rain mixed with thunderstorms out there. Again, it's not a big severe weather threat, but I would watch at this time of the year just to be on the safe side. We'll keep you updated on that. Now, through Sunday, Palm Sunday, we'll start off with a few thunderstorms. Then some more showers out there throughout the rest of the day. And then late Sunday night into Monday, we may see some more thunderstorms coming on through. Later this week, this is going to be important if you have any outdoor or travel plans. Tuesday through about Thursday evening, possibility of more showers and thunderstorms coming on through, some of which could be on the stronger side when it comes to the possibility of heavy rainfall. National Weather Service is already taking an interest in this, calling this significant uh, in their forecast discussion in the course of the last several hours. So later on this week, about midweek or so, we could be looking at some much more heavy rainfall. Add to that, north of the Mid-South area, we could be seeing a lot more rain. St. Louis, uh, Columbia, back into around Springfield, Illinois, and Missouri. We could be looking at a lot more rainfall up there, and all that's going to have to drain into the Mississippi Channel. So we could see some rapid river rises into the course of the next several days, especially toward the end of this next week. Now, the Mississippi River is on its way down. It may be on its way back up again with this extra rainfall, so keep it tuned for more on that. Now, getting into Good Friday, a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder early, but it looks like things clear out by just a bit. Even better news again for sunrise services on Easter. Things are looking very dry. A little cool to start things off. Sunrise service may need a jacket with temperatures back in the upper 40s to the lower 50s, but then we get into some cool, dry conditions. Should be, at this point, an enjoyable Sunday with no major problems being seen across the area for weather across much of the Easter holiday weekend. But again, those showers on Good Friday, maybe a thunderstorm could be a problem early in the morning. We'll be watching out for that as we go throughout the course of the next couple of days. So again, all these numbers will change. You just have to stay tuned for updates on this. You can't tune in on a Friday and expect things to be very nice and exactly the same on the forecast by next Sunday. So keep it tuned over the weekend, and we'll have more details on that. Also, again, don't forget you can find out more at wreg.com slash weather. My forecast available right now on AM 730 through 10 o'clock this morning. If you can't get their signal around the Mid-South or if you're out outside the area. All you have to do is dial them up at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Bob and Josh talking about sports and lots to talk about this uh, time of year with the tournament going on. The new coach at the University of Memphis, all kinds of stuff to talk about, call in and discuss stuff. And again, you can find them on the website there. You can also catch my forecast as well throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3. So if you're out and about away from your cell phone or away from the computer, at least you can catch up on the forecast by listening to the radio. And of course, we'll have another update on the forecast coming up a little bit later this morning as we go into around mid to late morning once we get done with all of the forecast updates and everything else that we tape here after live at nine record I guess I should say taping I'm kind of dating myself there uh, we'll have another update on our late morning edition of weather overtime that'll be starting 
about 10.30 or so, and this is also where we'll talk about whether where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, relatives serving in the United States military, we'll take a look at some of the locations around the world where the United States military has some outposts, and if you'd like to keep up to date with weather, especially today on World Meteorological Day, we'd love to be able to help you do that, so stay tuned for more on that, and that'll be coming up at about 10.30 this morning on my Facebook page and on Twitter and Periscope as well. That'll wrap things up for the early morning edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, send them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And again, you can find out all about the weather experts at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to find out more or give us a shout for whatever it is you'd like to find out more about. We'll be glad to help you out on that. And of course, we'll have updates with me throughout the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Friday and right on into the weekend.